Good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. So my first step is to take these whole bulbs of garlic and divide them up into cloves. And I am going to count how many cloves of each variety and write it down next to their names. Then I will know how much bed space to use for each one. Today I'm finally getting my garlic in the ground. Dalton is here, so he's watching the boys. I've got everything I need with me. I've already softened up the bed behind me. I've got my list of all the garlic that I have, the different varieties and how many cloves I ended up with each. I divided them all up into single cloves, ready to plant, separated from their bulbs. I'm good to go. I just want to give a big thank you to Two Family Homestead for their donation of garlic and to Pratt Family Homestead for their donation of garlic as well. And I hope that you guys are enjoying the ginger I sent as a thank you. And we will be raking out a couple of rows in this bed behind us and putting them in the ground. It shouldn't take us very long. It's a pretty quick process. I don't know how well you can see it, but I have four deep troughs, and those will be my garlic rows. They're not perfectly straight, but the garlic won't care. It'll still grow. Aesthetically, I wish I had pulled out a rope and made it more straight, but I need to get this done as fast as I can and get all this lovely garlic planted. So, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, it's in really good condition. The bulbs or the cloves are nice and tight. The only one that I had any issues with how, what condition they were in was this Amish Rocombo. Um, I think that's how I, 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 I scribbled too much, I know. So this was four heads of garlic that only produced two cloves that were worthy of planting. All the other cloves were shriveled up and dry. So I don't know if it's because this is a um, difficult to store garlic or if the, if it was just not in the right conditions, but we're going to plant these two and see what it does. Along with all of these other ones. <laughs> so those are the varieties for anybody that's curious what we're planting. I didn't pick these varieties. They were gifted to us, so I am really excited about trying them out. You just plant them a couple of inches apart. Some people do as many as six inches. I do it as big as a garlic clove is going to grow because that's how I do my deep mulch and everything so that I can grow closer together. And I have lots of um, good manure added to this soil so that it's high nutrient level. So I just put the bottom end in. That's where the roots will come out and the tip will grow a green shoot. And that's it. That's all I have to do. Super easy. Once I'm done putting them all in the ground, I will um, also cover this bed with a thick layer of mulch. That really makes a big difference and helps the garlic to stay weed free and keep the moisture level at a good balance. And it grows really well that way. So that's it. All the garlic is planted. We have two more beds, uh, two more rows open that we could plant some other stuff in. So we're going to see about um, that as a possibility. And then this side would need a nice thick layer of mulch, but I have run out of time for today. So 
hopefully tomorrow I can get some mulch put on top of this scarlet and it will start doing its thing, putting out its roots and sending out tops. By this spring, we will have garlic scapes to add to our meals and by summer, we'll be harvesting a bunch of delicious homegrown organic garlic. Be looking forward to that in the future. Thank you for watching. You know the drill. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.